it's 5.59 and it's Big Brother's birthday week, everybody! Oh! Come, 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 come. Shall we have some music to get us in the mood? Yeah? yeah. I thought you'd like that. Have a listen. Oh, uh, voice of an angel, you say? Do we like that, guys? Woo! The man down the likes that a lot. Uh, also, a woman who's full of birthday spirit. Uh, she's a mother now. It's everybody's favourite cupcake. It's Emma Willis, everybody. <laughs> Let me tell you, there are very few ladies in the world who can pull off a, cake, a, a cupcake so elegantly. Uh, and, oh, hang on. I reckon I recognise all of that. I, uh, that is weird. Anyway, uh, plus uh, the man who is famous for his cake hole. He's been in the house today, shocking the house, Max. Mates, now it's payback. It's Rex, everybody. <laughs> not, is that not working? Is that good? It is. He's trying to be a hard man. He's trying to be a hard man. Bear in mind, he's got that on for the whole show and I've got this in my pocket. Right now, uh, if you've been wondering why we have all the furniture from the house, all will be explained. It's time for BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25. 24 hour news and then some. Right, I dare you not to love these. Hot off the edit, here's the snippy clips. Pierre Jesus' dog face is bang on target for X Factor early round success, guys. I Jesus. <laughs> almost, almost. Also, uh, gentlemen, watch and learn as Marcus shows classy lass Michelle Bass his best chat-up technique. Excellent. <laughs> He's an eight. The geezer's an eight. Uh, and finally, I don't know what's changed, but it seems Noreen is now enjoying Marcus dragging her around. Oh! Freddie, come again. <laughs> Two words for you, and the second one's tease. Uh, now, summer's in full fling, so let's take uh, in the hot news from the house. In yesterday's breaking news, we watched housemates climbing the roof in protest of their lack of luxuries. The tame rebellion didn't end there, though. At 5.12pm, things went even more mental. Oh, well, let's get the fire extinguisher and have a game with it. We want a party! We want a party! We want a We want a party! We want a We want a party! Oh, they are a crazy bunch, that lot. Vive la revolution. Now, after kicking off good and proper, all the housemates were soon called into the dining room where the revolutionaries, led by mutinous Marcus, continued their demands and, boy, did they not give up easily. Watch this. We are not leaving this dining room until you give us a party. Guys, so take off your top yeah. and yeah. Maybe if you turn this speaker off behind the clock. Yeah, speak everyone turn off their mics then. Housemates. Big Brother will not be providing housemates with any alcohol, any food, any cigarettes, or any sweets this evening. Let's go. Let us out. <laughs> that will teach you guys at home to fight for your rights. They held out for a whole hour and a half before giving up, guys. An hour and a half, can you believe that? Pretty uh, resilient stuff on their part. Now, at 9.40 this morning, the insurgents woke to find Big Brother had taken their furniture most are taking it in their stride, but Rodrigo seems to have forgotten that the house is a TV set and not his forever home. I think it looks much bigger. At least we can have room to play games then. Is it respect the furniture outside? No, it's not. No, you just respect the furniture outside and you think it's funny now. Yes, I think it's funny. Doing your house, why don't you go to your house and do your house these things? He's not happy, old Rodrigo, is he? Yeah, let's have a look around what we got. We got the trusty bath there. Uh, nobody will be sitting in there. Of course, there are armchairs, uh, a few of the pebble style, uh, whatever they're called, cushions from outside. Check out the cacti, guys. Uh, what are they going to do without that? Beautiful cacti. Uh, and then, of course, their lovely dining room table. Where are they going to sit? Now, the good news is, guys, B uh, Big Brother hasn't said when it's going back into the house. We might have it here all week and all next week and for the next six weeks. Who knows? It's going to be, uh, we'll have to wait and find out. That is it, ladies and gentlemen, for BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25, 24-hour news and then some.
Right, uh, now, in just under 27 hours, Big Brother will be unleashing some new blood into the house so you can eventually vote them out. But till then, here's the four you can evict right now. To Vic Dogface, call 0901616615. To Vic Carly, call 0901616606. To Vic Noring, call 0901616610. To Vic Sivas, call 0901616613. Calls cost 35 p from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. <laughs> Joining me now is a lady who the last time we met was just about to give birth. She's now a proud mother and still hasn't missed the show. Burp me, win me. It's Emma Willis, everybody. <laughs> She had a baby, guys. Didn't she look incredible? Huh? <laughs> how, it, how is the baby? Amazing. She's Baby's amazing. Are you liking yeah. it? She's watching at home. Yes? With Daddy? With Daddy, Is yeah. Daddy being a good Daddy? Does he's he like it? He's an amazing Daddy. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. He's I bet totally he's... in love. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful thing, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Uh, what about that rebellion? Have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> it's like Broadmoor all oh, over I again. Oh, it was crazy. It? What a wild thing. Look, check out the furniture. Do you I know, like? I love it. I feel privileged to be sitting on this. I know. I know. Well, for such a Big Brother fan, this I must know. be a, a real treat for you. Maybe Shakes. we can give you one of these to take home. Can I? Don't tease. No, no, apparently no. we can't give you one of these to take home, actually. I'm sorry about that. Uh, what about Lisa? Last time you were here, you were saying, I love her, she's great, she's, you know... Yeah, I do still like her. I mean, she's pretty full-on and in your face. Do we like Lisa, everybody? <laughs> we don't like Lisa. I'm not wild about Lisa. Um, but she's quite opinionated, though. I don't get where the whole, you know, she's kind of calculating and trying to turn people against people. I haven't seen any of that. What about Mo? What different... do you think, mate? Uh, what do you think of Lisa? Um... He's got yeah, no, no, I, I personally don't like her. Really? I personally don't like you would her. Be, you'd be kicking off with her in the house, I know that for sure. <laughs> huh? Hit him out with the old back chat. She wouldn't like that at all. You'd be getting a slap. Definitely and not. will be going off. Right, OK, now, uh, let's have a little look. She's in a clip of, yeah. of, of, I don't know, something going on. This was your favourite clip of the week, right? It's one of them. Right, OK. It was like a Birmingham loving. Oh, we've got a Birmingham loving. Let's have a look at this. Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah, nice oh, yeah. to meet you. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? I'm all right. See, so you're from... <laughs> Midlands? Yeah, Birmingham. How are you? Where yeah. in Birmingham? Um, King Standing. Oh, right. Yeah. So if we're talking real heavy Brummie accents, yeah, no one will be able to understand what we're saying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> why, why do you enjoy that so much? Oh, no, I should have made yours. I mean, I can't believe it. It's amazing, right. isn't it? It's just like... <laughs> just because of that. It's just like being at home. I feel like I'm the only one that knows what they're saying. You, you pretty much are. I didn't understand what you just said to me. I hope it was all polite <laughs> stuff. What, so you, you were stood up five o'clock in the morning with, with little baby Willis and... Yeah, and... I, I catch up, like, in the early hours when she's screaming. Um, so I was just there, kind of, you know, winding and going, oh, look, oh, it's like being at them. home. Oh, lovely. I'm in London. What a treat <laughs> for you. What a treat. And now what about, what about Dogface's rendition of Pia Yezu? Huh? That was a beautiful thing, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> Should we just remind ourselves, look, I look at her. Beautiful. 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 She's got such a nice voice, isn't she? That's what I sound like when I sing. Really? Yeah. I don't really believe bad. that for a second. Honestly. I don't believe that. She might not have a career in music in the future. However... <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I don't think she does. Uh, you've obviously you've interviewed some of the biggest names. You've interviewed Dustin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Duran Duran, many, many others. I wondered if maybe you could cast your professional ear <laughs> over a couple of other guys in the house uh, and uh, okay. see what you think. First up, we've got a band called Hawe Hombre. Have a listen to this. Go away from me. Go away from me. Go away from me. You move yourself. Go away from me. Just go. Just go. No, hold on a second. Let's come get have fun. 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 I'm the loud one. I'm the bad one. Bad one. Bad one. Bad one. Bad one. There's something inside of me. Go away from me. Please, will you just leave us alone? Can you imagine that in the clubs? You think it's going to be a big hit this summer? They like that a lot. All really? the way, and the, the dance. Yeah, the dance just every, gonna, everybody, well, everyone's yeah, got to kind of go like this gamma. a little bit. Yeah, What's yeah. going on with Rodrigo? He seems like a bit of a stalker. Uh, he's a little bit odd, isn't he? A bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. But he, we like that. He's a little bit weird. Uh, next up, we've got Persian Love <laughs> Affair. Check this one out. Spiritual unity. You're unique. I think you're getting a bit too big for your boots. It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. Mmm. It's just joy, joy. joy. Bye, baby, bye, baby, bye, baby. Oh, 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 oh
There's something slightly disturbing yeah. about that last bitter of half wit there. What do you think of this? Uh, no, I don't like that one. And half wit, you know, that's what he wants, isn't it? He wants some kind he of. He wants music a singing deal, career. I, I don't it's think it's going to happen. It's so boring. But anything with Siv Ash for me. You're all right with it, yeah. Uh, we got, yeah. Hey, hey, don't get too excited. We've got another band, Pipes of the Bald Wolf. Have a listen to this. I am Captain Cool. I'm just looking at your bum snoring. Oh. I'll hug, please. Please, please. Snoring. Get your top off, get your top off, get your top off, snoring. Oh. I am Captain Cool. I am Captain Cool. Loving it. Hating it. Hating George. it. Hating it's hating as it. bad as his hair. It's uh, awful. Emma, you've been fantastic. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Don't worry, though, Emma is, uh, is going off to the camera runs. Uh, so, still to come, Emma will be getting closer than close to the housemates, and Rex will be getting his knives out. We'll see, that's his knives. We'll see you in three and a half minutes. But you should be a lot happier now, shouldn't you? Yeah, I've got, well, I've got nothing that's to worry it. about now. All yeah. I've got to worry about is getting evicted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is it your girlfriend, oh. Rex? <laughs> Welcome back to Little Brother. It's day 43 and the time is 6.14. Oh, breaking news, guys. Yeah, it's just coming through. There's been a big ruck in the house. There's been a kickoff. Let's go over to the house and see what's happening. I don't want to uh, hear. I don't want to hear it. Just because I know you're I don't want to hear it. it so I'm not I twisting it. Really I took mine up because I was in pain. Right? Yeah, I took exactly. Yeah. I don't judge I took you for mine that. Up. I took mine up because I was in and pain. And I don't judge you for taking well, it up. Well, shut it then. Shut it. I was. Because I don't want to hear it. I've told you. Oh, that was just moments ago. That's not nice, is it? That's not pretty. Uh, there might be something pretty in the house. There you go. There's Emma Willis. Hey. Hello, my love. Hello. It's so exciting. Look how buzzing she is I off there. She's just ever, yeah. She just had a kid. She's not interested. She's like, I'm leaving it. It's I'm amazing. going down to the big brother house. Someone else look after it. Um, what's, what's happening in there? Well, uh, Lisa's sitting there like alpha female. Yeah. She doesn't look very happy, though. She's, she's a nightmare. She's what? quite frightening, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, I can't see half it though. I think he might be with Marcus. What, so they're just sitting off, just kind of like, you know, saying yeah, how horrible Lisa is, She's basically. kind of sitting there holding court yeah. around the others. And all um, the other... But it seems like stripping the house of its contents has stripped them of any ability to converse. <laughs> really? What, so they're not really talking, they're just sitting there <laughs> They're not really on. saying very much. Emma, um, I know you're a huge fan. How's it feel to be in there? I, I want to do a little wee in my pants. Oh. It's so exciting. Make sure you save some for us. What, <laughs> OK. Was it, you, it usually starts smelling about uh, quite funky halfway through. How's it fit <laughs> the, the, the house, that is? What's, what's, it, what's, what's what? it like in there? Um, it's, it's just so surreal to be in here. Yeah. And to actually see them that close. Rodrigo looks a lot bigger in person than he right. does in... Uh, I feel like they can hear bang me Bang on well. the glass, Emma. Bang on the glass. Don't, no, no, George, because no, 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 I will. No. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. We'll, we'll speak to you later, darling. Okay. Take care. All right. Uh, now, uh, now that it's time to cast your mind back to a time when the house was full of science, it had its own lord, and Kinga had a lot of bottle. God, she loved an argument, that girl. <laughs> uh, this is Big Brother 6 in 60 seconds. <laughs> Whatever. If you want to communicate with me, communicate with me. Bring up the Prime Minister and tell him I'm in the house. Mm. Ah! Get this thing out of me! Ah! Let's see you win. End of. The lady's Go not for turning. Land away! I refuse to diminish my character. Welcome to the Big Brother house. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> just so much loveness. Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. <laughs> I just really want to leave. Shut up and leave me alone! Did I did it? Did I did it? I feel like church. <laughs> I was only joking, I was only joking. Ah! Using, if you want the £50,000 cash, you can have it. Joining me now is a man who came fourth last year despite 29 nominations against him. And did I mention he runs three restaurants? Yeah, that's restaurants. He's an unstoppable Tyrannosaurus. It's Rex, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, and I still booing. I can't believe it. How you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, cool. 
rushing around. The last ex housemate to go in the house. What an honour. I know, what an honour. What an honour. We've got a little clip here. Talk us through what you were doing. Well, I mean, you know. The famous task from last year, the buzzing task. I was too happy just to shot them. I didn't really want to get to the end, as that there was no reward for me to go further. So I thought making him scream was much more fun. There's a big surprise. Rex was <laughs> nasty to all the housemates, yeah? Uh, what was it like going up against Marcus? Well, I mean, you know, he sort of talks big, but he's not, he's quite soft, really. Really? And I mean, I mean, well, I kind of had to steer him back towards going back for Noreen again, because I think, you know, he was doing well there. So what, you're, you've told him he's got to go back yeah. in on it? Marine you again. can't do this to him, Rex. He's going to go crazy. <laughs> You're out of order. What, what about uh, all the people taking the buzz in? Who took it worse? Because last year there was a lot of people having tantrums, right? Well, I mean, I put sort of uh, you know, Lisa um, in my head that I thought that she might take it off first. So my idea was taking Lisa to the bottom, and that's... Oh, so you kind of put Lisa in her place a little bit. I know Noreen had a cry. He made Noreen cry. Can you believe that? <laughs> Now, there's some happy people out there. Now, the tasks have all been completed and we'll find out later in the week if they pass or fail. But we set Rex a little challenge of our own. We asked him to design a birthday banquet consisting of two different menus. One was a luxury budget of £5 per head. The other was a basic budget of a pound per head. All the items had to come off the uh, official Big Brother shopping list, which is right here. Uh, should, we see, uh, should we see how we did, guys? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Starters. Pea and shallot ravioli with a roasted tomato coulis. Starter one, done. Second starter. Tian of marinated vegetables with salt and a touch of balsamic glaze to finish it off. Starter number two, done. Boom! Next up is the main. Is slow cooked lamb with creamy pom puree and mushy peas. Potato, pipe. Set. Second main. It's a rump of lamb with pom puree, caramelised button onions, bevs, rose mushu, and a sprig of mint to finish. Lightly score the meat. Onions, caramelised. Second main, done. Yes, chef! Finally, dessert. First up, Eaton Mess, Halfwit's favourite. Shazam! My second dessert is Chocolate Heaven. It's made of five simple ingredients. Cooked powder, oil, eggs, flour and sugar. I made it in the house and it was fabulous. Chocolate brownie hot, ice cream cold, dessert two, done. Bang! There you have it. Two three-course meals on two different budgets. Fit for a king. Done. Shazam! Oh, Shazam! <laughs> How come you never cook like that in the house? Well, I got locked over in heaven, so, you know, everyone has it's to cook It's a nightmare. He won't even help anybody who's in the house with them wouldn't cook for him. Right, this is how it's going to work. OK, in front of us, we've got all the dishes that Rex prepared. Emma uh, has to guess which dishes were prepared as part of the basic budget, OK, and which were part of the luxury budget. Rex, if you can make Emma believe that the, uh, that the budget ones are luxury dishes, you win this. The executive chef uh, trophy is a beautiful thing, let me tell you. Uh, if you fail, we're going little chef, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the ones Hester Blumenthal's just done, all right? I'm talking about the, uh, the grotty old ones. Now, Emma, if you get yeah. a dish wrong, babe, yeah? Yeah. Uh, then you get a little bit of your mm. favourite no. tuna. <laughs> huh? How you like that, huh? No. Oh. No. She's absolutely pho uh, she's got a mad phobia to, uh, to tuna. Right, OK, this is how it's going to work. Let's go. First up, what have we got? The ravioli uh, and the vegetables. You've got to tell us which is which. I'll go in here. So, which is the luxury one? Yeah. Oh, look, I can't get it off. Oh, quite nice. Quite nice. <laughs> and then we've got this. What do you think? Which one? Um... Oh. That one. <laughs> that one what? That one's luxury. That one's a luxury. What, what, tell us what it is, Rex. Uh, right. Come on. That one. Oh! That one's oh. That one's I should have known oh. that. I thought that right, was like a up. trick question. Right, next up. Right, right, let's go. What? Here we go. Little bit no, 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 no,
Right, OK. So this is here? shepherd's pie? No, well, yeah, what basically, is it? It, is, it is shepherd's pie, basically. Uh, mm, uh, that's really that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. Yummy. This one, Sam. That's good too. Right, what do we think? Which one's which, babe? Quick as you can. Um, um, oh, luxury. Luxury, she reckons. No, it's that one. <laughs> oh, she nailed it. She got it right. She got it right. Right, let's go quickly. On to the dessert. Right, we've got ice cream over. This is the eaten oh, mess, right? It. She likes eating mess. Look, she's going eating hard and strong on the eaten <laughs> mess. Not, not very nice. Mm. But that's easy to make and cheap. All right. <laughs> well, then that must be the basic one. Fighting talk, remember them. <laughs> right, easy, okay. Rex, easy to make. That is nice. Oh, not very tasty. What do we think? Which one's basic? Which one's uh, luxury? Uh, luxury. Go, let's go that one. Nailed Yay! it. <laughs> Nailed it. So she got two out of three, which means, Rex, uh, you really are an executive chef, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So there we go. You must be happy with that, aren't you? Very happy. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Big thank you to all my guests tomorrow. BB winners Craig, Nadia, Anthony, Pete, Brian and Rachel are all here for a special BBLB birthday show. That's the main show over on Channel 4 tonight at 10 o'clock and I'll see you back here tomorrow at 6 on E4. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.